ChatGPT really isn't a new tool anymore. Michelle and I use it for a variety of tasks when managing accounts. However, if this is something you've never really dove into before, then I think ad copy is a really good place to get familiar with ChatGPT in regards to paid media. So in this video, we'll show you how we like to use the tool to help us come up with new ideas for ad copies, or maybe come up with different ways that you can try to improve your ad copy to see better performance. For this video, I'm not gonna have a specific structure. I just wanna kind of free flow on how I sometimes use ChatGPT to come up with different ad copy ideas. Now for this video, I'm gonna use this specific landing page, at least to start off. I don't work for this company, never have, never manage their accounts, don't know anyone in their marketing department, don't know anyone on their advertising team. I just drive by this company like almost every day. So they were on top of mine, I picked them. But let's pretend I'm trying to find new ad copy ideas for this specific landing page. So then when I go to ChatGPT first, you have to be nice just for when the machines take over that they remembered I was a kind person. Now we can be serious. I might type in a message like this. I just want headline ideas, prompting it, keep it 30 characters or less from this specific landing page, which is the one we just looked at. And here are the first results. Are they all perfect? No. First one that pops in my head, peace of mind, free. Well, <laughs> of course, that's not a great one, but there are definitely others here that we could use. Calling out the warranty, the value one is a little odd. Even if you take the message out, all the special characters of the dollar sign, the slash, the exclamation point might get flagged by Google. They don't like these excessive symbols in their headlines. But I kind of like the ones I talk about protecting your home, backup made easy, Generac the brand has you covered, don't miss on this deal, secure your power today. So there's definitely a lot of headlines here that we can work with. Now, depending on what you get, you may need to tweak it, but maybe I have some of these proof points or value messages already in my ad copy. I'm trying to look for something that has a bigger punch to it. I might respond with something like this. Maybe I'm trying to push more conversions, but I'm sick of using the same call to action ideas over and over again. Let's see what we get. Again, I'm not working on this account, so ideas won't pop in my head as quick as they would if I was actually working on the account. But typically I have something like free warranty as a call out extension or one of my value message type of headlines. The fact that ChatGPT gave me the idea, oh, we know we can turn that into a call to action headline telling someone to claim it. I like that. It's giving me an idea that I wouldn't think of right off the bat. Number two, pretty common. Get it now, get it today. Everybody uses those types of things. See, call today, but scheduling a free consult, start your backup plan, something that we may not consider. Let's look at the landing page again, because the main calls to action I see is request your free quote. Scrolling down a little bit, request your free quote, get details, maybe find a dealer. So let me look up something here. Okay. Well, it doesn't even mention consult or consulting on the landing page. So maybe that's one that doesn't work. However, still provided me a different idea. It's never going to be perfect, but the one or two that I got from there that I would like to test, I would put in. For now, let's just say we're happy with these five, but we may want to test out a different tone. Moving my mouse out of the way, maybe I want to push urgency. Again, may not be the best example, but maybe something like this would fit within your account. Think of prompts that you can give ChatGPT to test out different tones. Maybe you want to be more informative. This one's pushing urgency. Maybe you can have ChatGPT come up with a fear-based headline. Maybe we'd get something back like, don't be left in the dark, you know, that sort of thing to kind of build a different type of urgency. Maybe you'd like humor in your ads and that might work with your audience. Give those prompts to ChatGPT and see what you come up with. Now, besides headlines, I asked if ChatGPT can help me come up with some different ad descriptions. I would try again, I had some technical issues, my internet dropped out a little bit, so probably couldn't access the page, but it gave me something decent to start with. In addition to that, ChatGPT is asking if I want versions tailored for Pmax or responsive search ads. I was hoping this would be for responsive search ads, but let's see what else it comes up with. All right, and actually it seems like these descriptions got a little shorter. Asset ideas, it's going back to the headlines. So I'm gonna prompt it to kind of give me some of the longer options as well. Here, I wanna see what longer options they can come up with. Okay, now these are better, just visually, I can see a lot of them mention the seven year warranty. So I may give some additional prompts asking for a little bit more variety. Maybe I'll tell ChatGPT, don't repeat a message in any of the descriptions. And then maybe find one or two from there that you really like and ask ChatGPT to expand upon it and see if it comes up with better ideas. Now, besides the ad copy itself, sometimes we can use ChatGPT to help with our extensions. Again, compliment ChatGPT. I didn't ask for it, but I still got it. So let me be direct in my questions. Okay, I had to refresh because I still had some technical issues and due to some server stuff, they're saying it's actually on Generic side, not pulling images, but in the past, they have given me image ideas pulling from the landing page. So we've used those as image extensions, 
within Microsoft. We use them as part of multimedia ad testing. So keep in mind, that's something else you can do there. But since it's not working, we're gonna keep moving. Maybe you do wanna have different callouts. And I wanna try proof points. I'm still using the landing page specifically because if I'm making ad copy that's sending users to that page, I wanna make sure that my ad copy reflects the same message that's on the page. I wanna make sure that whatever we're promising in our ad copy makes sense, it's clear and concise, so the user sees it once they get to the page. I don't wanna have any confusion. So depending on what your account has or what other links are on the pages, maybe you use these as callouts. Maybe it triggers ideas for different headlines to start testing. Maybe you have a different link or page on the site that really talks about the warranty. So you can use this idea as a potential site link extension or asset, whatever you wanna call it. Let me pull up a separate tab. I was testing out certain things because we we're seeing the server issues. And this was a different response I had by asking the same question. Because the page wasn't loading, ChatGPT pulled other proof points that are commonly featured. Again, I would want to go back and check the accuracy. Does it make sense for this specific landing page? But I still have 18 new ideas that I can consider using. And besides each of these proof point ideas, I need to get some sort of indication of why I might want to use it, why it could be important to the user who's reading it. So if you are crafting pinned responsive search ads, and you're doing it specifically because you want to have a specific flow or tone within your ads, having these additional reasons why you may want to use each of these proof points is helpful. If you want to try to craft an ad that has more trust, well, five-year warranty is there. 24 sevens talking about reliability. We have flexibility, building more confidence, that sort of thing. And even if these are ones that you're already using, it might just justify the reason why you're using it. Getting away from the Google side, I took another Generac page, different from the first one that we were using, and then I asked ChatGPT to help me come up with some Facebook ad copy. Getting five variations for headlines and body text. Scrolling down, giving the reason of why this copy was compiled. And as always, you can see it within each of the responses. You can click on sources. Most of them are actually from the company website. Any of the other ones, you may want to check for accuracy, but if it is a different website that's not your brand, maybe it is a reseller, I may want to check out those pages because maybe they've created just some good copy on those pages that can help you spark your ad idea. It's not ChatGPT directly. However, we're using ChatGPT to find these sources. But as ChatGPT says, seasonality could be another reason to help you find new ad copy ideas, giving us ideas for summertime, fall, winter, and spring. This is a product that is needed all year round but you can see how we can capitalize in the moment during certain times of the year. Instead of just having generic ad copy 365 days out of the year, maybe I can capitalize on being more current in my ad copy. If I'm tailoring my ads during wintertime to talk about possible scenarios in the wintertime, it could strike a chord a lot better. I'm being much more relevant to the time. It's kind of the same approach where if you have a product that could be bought all year round, but you're tailing your messages potentially to specific holidays, major current event moments like the Olympics. Can you tailor your ad copy to match those moments? If we have trouble coming up with ideas, ChatGPT was here to help. Pumped it out quick. But then understand on the paid social side, there's different ad formats too. So maybe I stick with one, but ask to change it to a different ad format if I want to test different ads together on the paid social side. Now the image part, you may already have that in mind, whatever. But look how easy it was to come up with. Do you have to use all of these? No. Maybe you just want to use a couple. But at least we have ideas that just help us move along quicker. So that was pretty brief, I understand, but it's a good first step into understanding what ChatGPT can do in regards to ad copy. You can use it to scrape your landing pages and just come up with new ideas and then take those ideas and see if you can get more variants from specific themes. Maybe you want more keyword focused headlines for search. Maybe you just want to change the tone. Notice how even ChatGPT asked us back and gave us prompts if you want to test out different ad formats. Do we want to take our search ads and come up with ideas for social? It could be helpful if you're trying to have a cohesive message for one product that you're promoting on multiple channels. And while I have the sidebar closed, so you don't see a ton of other information of stuff that we were looking for for clients and personal stuff, I closed out the history. This sidebar will have your previous searches if you need to go back and look for something that you did for another account. That's also helpful. So if you're ever stuck on ad copy, no matter what ad platform you work in, I bet ChatGPT can help you find new ideas that you haven't tested yet. So if you're not a beginner in using this for ad copy, I'd love to hear what tips I may not have talked about in this beginner video. So let everyone else know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.